from Ed Wilbur. Ed, welcome back to the good country. Thanks, Ross, and I appreciate this crowd. Did you hear that applause? I know that we're in here. Hey, they know who the winners are without even trying, don't they? Well, uh, we don't know about winners tonight because we've got some guys over there that are going very, very quick. Yes, I know Alias Smith and Jones down there. I know Smith, and I know uh, Johnny Pine. He, uh, somebody told me that he was the uh, flower of the family. I call him a blooming idiot myself, but that's all right. <laughs> and Smead, I think his name is Smead. Speed, you know, Speed, Speed. And that Ford's got to go like hell to keep up, is all I can say. I got a lot to be thankful for tonight. A lot of people here coming out. And you know, we got a major sponsor again and this is it Valvoline makes us go fast and don't ever forget that in your cars at home Valvoline's the word to go just remember and then now we got to thank formula workshop equipment because you can't beat them guys that help prepare the cars before we get here well the cars should be they're looking really good they should be going really quickly and I wish you all the best in the first test match here tonight well I think if not the first test we'll be here for the second to third and we're going to take them all home winners because you didn't let it last last year we had two too many ties, too many ties. And the first one, the flag man cheated us, and he knows it by three seconds. So we start in on him. Okay, you can say thanks very much to your drivers, too, for going back out for those second six heats. Yeah, we gave it a hard try. There's no doubt about it. There was a little one mistake there, but we'll come back again. And, uh, you know, there's a few things I didn't like that. But I got to tell you what, Valvoline ought to be proud of us, and we're real proud to run Valvoline colored because that's great for us. You know, that uh, it just makes us all run all the faster. I know we had a little problem tonight. The rain set in, but before that, 18-18 was 100%. What happened after that, we can't even talk about it. Well, that's what I said to John. Uh, 18 points all after six heats. Next Wednesday's test match is going to be anybody's test. Yeah, it'll be real tight next Wednesday, but we'll be ready because we're going to do a couple more races before that. So the car will be a little unprepared. We're going to be prepared now. We know we're looking forward to. And I want to thank the boys up there with them eggs they throwed at us. Really nice. I mean, that makes us want to come back year after year to see that come to us. You know, that's really nice. You know what they ought to be, don't you? In the funny form on the way up here, that's where they belong. Okay, we'll look forward to next Wednesday night. Big Ed, a legend in his own mind. They love me here, Mike. They love me here, and you know it. You don't have to introduce me. They know who I am. I am the greatest there is, and they know it. Come over here. Come here. I want to bring him over a bit closer to your race fans so you can really let him know what you think of him. They throw eggs here. I don't want to get too close. <laughs> you be careful. They might be throwing the chickens after them tonight. Now, I want this grandstand crowd here to tell us just how much you love Big Ed Will, but show him, would you please? Ed just got the clap. <laughs> That's not necessary. They know how good I am. They know I'm the greatest. They know that we are here to win tonight. They know that we have the major sponsor of Valvoline, and we will win for Valvoline, no problem. Everything's going to be our night tonight. Okay, I want you to remember that. Don't forget it. I want you to look at the track. It's perfect. Your cars are perfect. Your sponsor is perfect. So don't come back here crying after the next 12 heats. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Big Ed will... Wait, wait. We don't cry. Remember? Australia cries. They cry, not us. Hey, my president never cries. I can't say that about your prime minister. Okay, I'll talk to you. Ed who? Ed who, that's right. I can, I can recall standing out here on the middle of this racetrack. You said things were absolutely ideal. The track was perfect. Your cars were perfect. Your sponsor was perfect. Someone goofed up. We've had a perfect night. <laughs> I mean, what can you ask for? You know, hey, uh, my car just won't go any faster than that. And uh, what can I say? They're just a real strong team, and we got whipped. But I'll be back. I mean, I don't know that they can keep it up. Can they really keep it up? Listen, Mike, I want to Ed, uh, give, present Ed with something here for tonight. I think he knows it. Oh, yes. Come out here so we can see. This is the biggest dummy I have ever seen. Just a sec. And there's a, there's a little tag written on here from Roger Clark. He said, Ed, it's not meant to put in your mouth. Sit on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a second. Gordon Smee has a towel for you, Ed. Just to wipe the tears away. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'll bring up the other members of the American team, Kenny Brightville, Rodney Combs and Ray Gotzi. Well, Kenny, at least you got up with a win to show people what it's all about. Well, things are going a little bit better, so maybe we keep working the car a little more, we'll get it going better yet. Whip them here on Sunday night. Well, we're sure going to try. <laughs> well done. Ray Godsey? Uh, I wasn't here on Wednesday night, and uh, they tell me that it wasn't good for you again. Did you say clashes or crashes? Now, wait a minute. Hey, we I said clashes. Yeah, well, we got to make this a clear that this is racing, not crashing. I mean, them two uh, Piney brothers, you know, they're the flower of the family. They're both blooming idiots, and you guys all know it, too, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right, we all know it. But knowing American pride, you won't want to leave here with 3-0. You'll be shooting for 2-1. Has that ever happened here? Yes. 3-0? Yes. What year was that? That was before you were born. Might, might have been. <laughs> well, anyway, we're going to give it a good try tonight because we can't go home 3-0, that's for sure. And we'll be back a... Uh, we got the fine cars here, the Valvoline for the sponsor. We're going to go as fast as we can. I'm sure you all get a good night, good racing tonight, and um, let's get on with it. Well, one thing I do want to say, this is, I think, if my questions are right, is sixth race night in eight days. Yeah. How about eight races in six days? I think so, and I'm getting that tired. <laughs> Anyhow, it's going to be a big schedule. Paul McShee, you won the toss with this last time, so I kept it in my pocket. Is it the same? Coin? Same coin. The itty bitty one, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Paul, would you make the toss, please? Oh, you've wait, got. Wait. He's got another one. Wait. He's got. <laughs> See? Cheater. Look at that. One in each hand. <laughs> Use your coin. Ed, I noticed you haven't mentioned Valvoline tonight. I'm sure that the people uh, out there all see that you use it and would understand it must be a fantastic oil. I know you drink it, it keeps your jaws going. <laughs> make the toss, you make the call. Heads. Heads is the call, tails is the land. Australia win the toss, we're set for the French Brothers Tyres International Test. To uh, Ed Wilbur. Um, I think you showed us tonight that those things just will not go without that nose cone on the front. Yeah, it's a little hard to steer, but gee, I didn't see that guy's stop lights when he stopped like that. I didn't even see him. He didn't have his turn signals on or nothing, so I don't know what to say. Didn't he give a right-hand signal as he turned right? No right-hand signal or nothing. It's just one of them things that happen when you're racing. Hey, uh, we tried hard. We give it the best. These guys are fast. I got to say that. They're the fastest that ever been here at Newcastle. They're good. We want to come back, but I'll tell you what. I'd like to take a couple of my boys here and put them on one-on-one -on -one anytime they're ready and show them who is the fastest. Okay, to Rodney Combs. Rodney, you had it all.